let's take a look at some of the new features of Strokes 2.1. Uh, for this demo, I've made four sine wave oscillators, which you can see on these channels here. We have a pitch control and a volume control. The volume control is linked to the weights mod buses, so any activity on here will control these volume pots for the four oscillators. Uh, we'll take a look at that later. First, let's look at the rhythm storm. So, one of the problems that I've faced when using strokes is it can be quite difficult when you've spent a few hours on a pattern to want to start a second pattern. So, to try and speed up the process of creating patterns, I've created this rhythm store section which allows you to save and load preset rhythms onto any of the five strokes channels. So, when we start to edit one of the channels, we'll see that that channel is then displayed on the rhythm store. Any edits that we make here will be made onto the corresponding channel, and we can set the channel using this channel control here. Um, this lock, uh, what it does is, when we're editing, any changes that we make will bring the selected channel onto the rhythm store. If we lock it, it won't do that. So it'll just be fixed on channel 2, fixed on channel 3, fixed on channel 4. So the process for saving and loading rhythms works like this. We make some edits here and then it's displayed on this channel here. Then we can enter a name here. So let's just make some edits. Test one, two, three. Hit save. And now this rhythm has been added to our list here. This list is populated by some rhythms that I got from like some Euclidean rhythm research papers. Um, there's a link in the readme file if you want to check that out. Uh, so let's hit play and hear this in action. So we can select a rhythm from this list here. And we can step through them using this button here. We're just getting sound waves at the minute, so it's not too interesting. But it should help kind of generate some new ideas quicker. Um, the way that these rhythm presets save is they're saved outside of the project so the next time that you load up strokes any rhythms that you saved in this session will be available in the next session too. One of the quick changes that, that I've added to the rhythm generating section is we now have an invert button and what the invert button do is turns all of our on messages to off and all of our off messages to on so with this button press you can see that we get an inverted version of the rhythm uh, so here's some sine waves being modulated by weights. Uh, there's a new dial in weights, and what this new dial does is it feeds the signal from the channel that you select onto the next, like the neighbouring channel to the right. So I can send whatever's on modulation A to B, and I can invert, I can save positive or negative. And so now all these weights channels are feeding back into one another. We can create some much more interesting shapes using than ra rather than just using this section here. So yeah, let's look at some of the new features that have been added. I'm just going to let this run now. And yeah, hope you enjoy it.
Hope you've enjoyed. Um, yeah, ready to download now. Enjoy. <laughs> 